In this video, we're going to go over how to use the consolidations module in order to consolidate your financial reports in a multi-company environment. Before we go into consolidations, let's take a look at our accounting reports to take a look at what we're going to consolidate. Inside of reporting, we're going to go to our profit and loss statement, and we're going to primarily focus on our profit and loss statement for this example. Right now, if we look at our companies, you'll see I'm in company one and company two. I have both of them selected with the primary company being company one. Now I see all of my journal entries for our profit and loss statement. And we've noticed that we do have several GL accounts listed here. We're going to condense this into three lines. We're going to have revenue, we're going to have expenses, and we're also going to have other income down here. So we're going to have three lines on our consolidated report and we're going to combine both company one and company two into a single report. We're going to view that report over a quarter. So we're going to look at January, February, and March. And each one of these accounts has a different base currency. So company one is in USD and company two is in Canadian dollars. We're going to condense that and we're going to be utilizing USD for everything. And the system is going to automatically convert everything into USD. So now that we've seen a little bit of what we're going to condense, let's go into consolidations and we'll begin our consolidation process. Now, if you're brand new to this, you can follow the on-screen guide, but for this example, we're gonna go into configurations and work through everything. The first thing we wanna do is create a consolidation. We're gonna click on new and we're gonna give this a name. So we'll call this profit or let's just do PL. And we'll say this is for March and we'll work our way backwards. We're going to give a target currency. We want to do everything in USD. And here we can invert the balance sign so that we can inverse the debits and credits so that we have the accurate signage for our amount. So we'll have our negatives in expenses and positives in our income. Now down below under companies, we're going to add a line and we're going to add both of our companies. Keep in mind, depending on how many companies you have and what you want to consolidate, you will be selecting the companies that you want to create a consolidation for. So we'll select both companies here and we'll notice that company two is in Canadian dollars and company one is in USD. We'll save that. Notice here we have a button for historical rates for companies to Canadian to USD conversion. Now from here, the next thing we wanna do is look at our groups, accounts, and periods. We also have our advanced consolidation down below. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit. So under groups here, we're going to create a new group. And this is just going to allow us to create a hierarchical structure within our report. So we'll just call this revenue. And then we're going to create income and other income mapped to our financial accounts. So all we need to do here is write in revenue. Next, under accounts, we're going to create a new account. And we'll call this income. We're going to be using, we can use the historical rate, the average rate, or the closing rate. These are self-explanatory, uh, but for example, the closing rate is going to be the closing rate for that specific period that we're going to be viewing our report on. Average rate is going to be the average rate of the period, and historical rate is going to be the historical rate of the period, or based on the historical rates that we set um, for our historical rates. So we're going to select historical rates here. Here we can invert the balance sign. Again, we did this at the consolidation account level, so we don't need to do it again. We can give this a short code. We can add a group to it, which we're going to do, which is revenue. The next thing we're gonna do is add all of the accounts that we want to add for this consolidation. So everything we want to have under income. So I'll search income under the type here, and we'll see all the types, all of our companies, and all of our accounts. So we'll select all and simply save this. We'll do the same thing for other income and we'll give that same group for revenue. We'll search other income here. We'll select all and save that. And then finally, we'll do one for expenses and we won't create a group for this, but we'll just have all the expenses listed. Here we'll use the filters and click on expenses, select all and click select and save. Now we have all of our accounts mapped to individual accounts. So we have income, other income, which are under the revenue hierarchy or group. And we have expenses, which does not have a parent group. Keep in mind, if you're missing accounts or you can't see any account that you're hoping to see, 
This is either because you don't have the company selected on your top right, or you fail to select the company under your consolidated companies. Now that we have the hierarchy that we're looking for, we can go into periods and actually create our consolidation report for a specific period. So we're going to click on new here. And of course, we're going to select for March. And we'll say this is till March 31st. We'll save this. And we can click recompute here in order to create that consolidated balance. Now, by creating a period, that period is going to appear on our dashboard here. So we can X out this introduction. And we'll see all of our different reports that we created based on the periods. So here we have our PL for March. We have March 2023 as the date. And if we click into this, we'll see all of the information that we just seen. And if we click on the consolidated balance, we'll see our report. Now within our report, we have our group. We can on group and hide this to view the high level amount, or we can open up our group to see our individual amounts. We'll notice we have our expenses, our income and our other income. And all of these are amounts are pulled from our financial, uh, so our journal entries. And we can drill down to each one of these to audit. So here we see all of our entries. We see the balance. And here we see our company one balance and we can go to audit once again and look at all of our entries as well. We also see the total right here to our right. And if we had additional periods, we can compare periods to one another. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Keep in mind up here, we can export this as a PDF or an Excel file. And we can also elect to add or adjust our column. So if we needed to add an additional column here and make adjustments to our financial report, we can easily do so by clicking add a column and making any entries that we would like. Now that we've created the March statement, I want to go and click into it and look at a few more options that we might want to consider using in the future. Now, under our lines for company period, we have our company, we have the currency, the start and end date, the consolidated amount. And this consolidated amount is very important because it tells us which or what percentage of the totals we want to pull in. So for example here, if we had two companies and we wanted to create a consolidated report for um, let's say that we only own 50% of company two, then we can set the consolidated balance here to 50 and that will only pull in 50% of the total number or the total balance for each one of our consolidated accounts. Here we have our average currency exchange and our end currency exchange, which we can adjust here. Our historical rates were pulled dynamically, but we can update our average and end currency here for reference inside of our consolidated balance. Now the rest of these fields, percentage ownership and control are just text fields for us to store information. So if we wanted to create consolidated reports for specific individuals so that they can see their ownership and profit for a specific subset of the companies they own, then you can do that as well. This does not change anything on the report. This is just for financial or record keeping purposes. And we want to tie that into the consolidation amount so that we know that if somebody owns 50%, we might only want to show the consolidated amount for 50%. Now, the last thing I want to look at on this line is the excluded journals. Now, this excluded journals is going to be, is going to be very helpful uh, when we're dealing with intercompany transactions. What we would want to do is create a journal for each one of our intercompany transaction types. So for sales and purchases, for vendor bills and uh, invoices, we'll create a journal, separate journal, maybe named IC for intercompany transactions. And we will exclude them from our lines here so that they don't appear on our consolidated balance. Now, we've taken a look at how to create a simple profit and loss statement for March. The next thing I want to do is build out one for January and February, and then we're going to build out a higher level blank one where we can pull in the P&L for January, February, March, and look at Q1 as a whole utilizing the sub consolidation periods. So now what we want to do is we'll go into consolidations. We'll do this just a couple more times. So we'll say this is our P&L. And we'll say this is for February. 
And for the sake of time here, we'll just do uh, January or February and March. We'll invert the balance here. We'll add the two companies. We'll save that. We'll add another group, same group. We'll save revenue. We'll add a line. Oops. So we have revenue here. We don't want to add a line there. We actually just want to create the account group. And under accounts, we're going to create income. We'll do historical rate. We'll set the revenue group. We'll add a company and we'll add all of our income, type income. So we did that same thing earlier. Next thing we're going to do is other income. Add that group once again. Search for other income here. Select all. And the last thing we want to do is the expenses. Now these don't have to necessarily be the same, uh, but for this purpose we want to have it the same. And then when we all tie all of them together into Q1 or any other um, hierarchical structure, we can map the account. So they don't necessarily have to be the same. So here we're going to add all of our expense accounts. Again, we'll use the filters. We'll select all and save that. And now we have a PL for February just by creating a new period here. And we'll say this is 02, 01, 2023 to 02, 28, 2023. We'll save that, recompute, and we can view that on the dashboard here. So we have PL for March, PL for February. We can look at our consolidated balance. And here we just have a few items. So the total is just uh, expenses 500, revenue 100 or 1000 with a net of 500. So now the next thing I want to do is go into consolidations. I'm going to create Q1 PL. Okay, so now we have our Q1 PL. The next thing we want to do is just go onto um, our companies here, or actually our advanced consolidation. We're going to add both of our PL for March and February. We'll save that. Under groups here, we'll create a same group for revenue. And then under accounts, we'll create one for other income. And here we're not going to add anything because we're just going to use this as a roll up report. And now under Q1 PL, we're going to map these accounts. So here for income, we're going to select income. For other income, we'll select other income. Now here's where I was saying that they don't necessarily have to be the same because in our roll-up report, if we wanted to, we can add multiple lines here and we can roll up different reports into a single report. So we can have a sub-hierarchical structure and roll them all up into a single report. Now we're going to do the same for February here. And we'll select income for February other income and expenses. Now the last thing to do is create a new period and I'm going to say this is all for Q1 and we'll save this and we can view it on our dashboard here. So we have P&L for March, P&L for February. Let's remind ourselves how that looks for a total here. We have 3.9 million and for February We have minus 500 and that's for our expenses. So now in Q1, we're going to add our periods. So we're going to add P&L for March and the P&L for February. We'll save this, recompute, and look at our consolidated balance. And here we see our P&L for March, our P&L for February, and we see our total here. So we didn't actually do this correctly, so we didn't add the groups together. So let's go back to our consolidation, Q1 P&L. Look at our accounts here, and for other income, we'll select the revenue group, and for income, we'll select the revenue group as well. And we'll go back into our Q1, recompute, and look at our consolidated balance. And here we see our revenue, total revenue. And this is all for Q1, and we have it broken down by March and February. And even at this point, we can look at our consolidation periods, and we can choose to only include a certain percentage of this consolidated rate. So now we've looked at how to create a simple profit and loss statement. We looked at how to roll up and use our subconsolidation periods. Now you can use consolidation for creating pretty much any report that you can imagine. 
where you need to adjust this, the percentage that you want to show. You want to simplify your reports. You want to create a report for stakeholders or uh, for outside parties where you don't want to, them to necessarily see all of your different accounts. You want to simplify it, have um, maybe your balance sheet with specific items categorized as cash on hand, cash in the bank, total assets, total fixed assets. And you don't want to necessarily have all of those different accounts displayed to some outside personnel. So you can use your consolidation to view a simplified report. Now you can create cash flow statements, profit and loss. You can create balance sheet or any other combination of reports that you need all in one place.